Hello everyone, last video I show you AT&T Airways uh, modem uh, to configure with the Cisco ASA 5505 and this video I'm going to show the new model from the Frontier and still is the Airways uh, brand NVG 468MQ uh, configuration uh, slightly changed but it's still working so that's good let's start it here the white cable is going coming from the from the wall and going to your ONT port what is ONT is a ONT is the fiber optic signal uh, convert to uh, copper electric signal which is can be internet data video and multiple pods which is a uh, playing all telephone services lines uh, it can be converted anyway so uh, the blue cable is going to you to your uh, Cisco ASA uh, which is the port uh, zero the, which is the first port on your Cisco ASA don't forget that's the most important part the last uh, AT&T Ares model uh, this configuration show as IP, IP pass-through and a new model is showing firewall DMZ configuration so you have to select DMZ enable and type share IP address uh, with the van and pass through mode is DHCPS fixed and sometimes the uh, modem can find your Cisco ASA when you plug in that blue cable to your the firewall Cisco uh, it will it can be listed there and you drop down menu and select your Cisco ASA in case you cannot find it you have to know your uh, Cisco ASA MAC addresses so if you don't know how to do it just let me know and uh, I will let you know how to find out your Cisco ASA uh, MAC addresses how to find it This part is nothing to do with the Cisco ASA, but you have to show uh, put your firewall level is low because uh, sometimes uh, if you have any devices in your home, uh, might be not go through from your firewall, uh, it might be get blocked like your uh, cameras or you know, especially the ring. I believe ring have an issue with that, so you just be sure. To select your firewall level is low uh, for the Wi-Fi configuration so if you put too high it's gonna block everything on your home and the wireless setting so uh, you might not see in your phone your uh, your video uh, streaming Firewall DOS protection is the, still the same uh, configuration. Uh, you just disable them all, so then apply it. some of the configuration change on the, from the last AT&T, the Ares, uh, the model. But it's, we just uh, disable all the firewall DOS protection because you already have you're going to have a firewall uh, Cisco ASA configuration to set up, so you don't have to worry about this part. So you just disable them all and uh, then you're good to go. This part's firewall uh, LG uh, pass-through. Uh, you have to do disable them all because this is risk, you know. If you make it enable, unless you're not using FTP. And I mean, end of what you're gonna configure from the Cisco ASA. And that's the reason you get the Cisco ASA so you can learn and configure it the all the firewall rules so you have to disable it on the the wireless part too because I mean it is nothing secure this day so that's a risk if you leave it enabled this is one of the most important part of the configuration uh, we're gonna give our rather name uh, which is that's what it's called you know the, the bridge we, we just gonna make a bridge with between our modem to uh, Cisco firewall so uh, first we're gonna give the gateway addresses but of course you're not gonna conflict with the Cisco ASA most of the time default Cisco ASA is a uh, 192.168.1 and 1 so 
for much easier step you can put like 192 170 that one and you can put one but most of the time I use two the for the uh, gateway addresses because you know so people can figure out and uh, and also you just I don't know I guess that's my the choice so I mean you can put uh, 192 170 dot one and one so let's put that way okay uh, start addresses uh, we can put 192 dot 170 dot one and we're not gonna put again one because this is your get uh, gateway addresses so you have to put two so you can you can do whatever you want like you can do 10 you know your IP is gonna start from uh, 10 to whatever number you uh, give so it's, this is the selection from your the router like in your Wi-Fi when you connect it is gonna show you uh, 192 171 and if you select the start address is 10 so it can be 10 and above you know so let's do it like this 192 171 and 10 okay and 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 how many devices you have at home uh, let's say 15 of them okay so has to be finished 25 so 192 170 dot 1 and 25 so 10 to 25 is gonna have uh, your IPs is gonna be configured in your house all those devices so it's not gonna be uh, 192 170 1 5 is cannot be because you configure your start addresses from 10 to 25 so that's the only IP is gonna select it from and uh, Cisco also is uh, find it by itself you know uh, because uh, we select do it as a DHCP so whatever he feel like it is gonna select one of the IP from your uh, from your uh, configuration from right here so this is the only the part left in the router part so we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys in the Cisco part over here uh, the main screen of the interface selection on the Cisco so as you see is default uh, is shown as a 192 168 1 and 1 and outside is going to be your Ethernet 0 slash 0 so that's the most important part and it's going to configure by itself so you don't have to worry about that part it might be like we give you know 192 170 1 and it might be like 15 to be your uh, you know, communication with your the router to Cisco it might be select that one or it might be the different because this is gonna be dynamic selection so and this is the only the part and uh, you have to be sure this is seeing your uh, seeing your the router if you do configuration you can do the, the system reload from the Cisco SA so it can be reload every configuration again and you can find it by itself you know so in case you don't see it so you can you just do the reload in your Cisco ASA so it will find out and I will show you how is the configuration when you edit in the outside and the inside section okay this is uh, our VLAN one part so uh, which is 192 168 and 1 and 1 this is the, our configuration and select the switch ports for the VLAN uh, as you see 0, 01 0, 02 0, 03 0, 04 0, 05 0, 06 and 0, 07 those are the one for uh, VLAN 1 and do not add Ethernet 0 slash 0 because that's VLAN 2 okay so do not do that otherwise your your configuration is not gonna work so so 
you just select it as is like this and your configuration for the Cisco VLAN one and enable the interface and and select the switch port 01207 and that's it okay as you see we select VLAN 2 just only selected switch port is Ethernet 0 slice 0 so that's the only configuration gonna be in the our VLAN 2 and rest of the configuration on the IP addresses obtain address via the ACP like I told you you know we don't give static IP so we just so automatically it's gonna find one of the uh, IPs from your DHCP from the router like I say you know it might be like 192 171 uh, say 15 16 or 10 to 25 it's gonna select one number so and then another one use MAC addresses obtain default router using DHCP that's the only thing you're gonna configure in this part and if you scroll down in this part you're gonna see <coughs> let me open that picture okay you're gonna see only enable DHCP broadcast flag for the ACP request and discover messages and that's it and that's what you all you're gonna do and after that if you like to you know you make this configuration then you can do the system reload it and the Cisco ASA so it can be the you know if it doesn't work it will be automatically next start it will be the configure your Cisco ASA and grab the from the the from router uh, one of the IP for the breach and and you start doing all your Cisco firewall configuration from the Cisco ASA that's all thank you for watching uh, please uh, like it and or you don't like it you can choose any of that and um, please subscribe so i can do more movie uh, movies yeah right movies <laughs> i can make more videos thank you guys take care <laughs>